Today is a good day, my friends, because today we're taste testing french fries. In one corner, we have Chef Gordon Ramsay's classic chips from his fish and chips recipe. And in the other corner, we have Chef Varun Inamdar's crispy french fries with some Indian spice toppings. So basically how the video runs is one, I will point out the key differences between the two recipes. Two, I will create the recipes to their specifications. And three, and most importantly, I will do a side-by-side -side taste test to see which crispy golden potato stick reigns supreme. To start off, let's compare these two recipes to see how they achieve french fry perfection. And note, I'll only be pointing out the key differences in the two recipes, so if you wanna go watch the whole video, I'll link them down in the description below. But anyway, let's get started. So key difference number one is gonna be the washing of the potatoes. So let's roll the clips and then I'll give you a little commentary. I'm basically just peeled, not washed, because I want the starch to get really nice and crispy. I start them off at a very low temperature. Or batons. I'm going to collect these batons and reserve them in cold water. All right, so in these clips, we saw some pretty interesting things. So Gordon specifically points out that he does not want to wash his potatoes, only peel them, because that will wash the starch off of them, which will he uses to make them extra crispy. Whereas Varen's french fries, he immediately transfers them to cold water and kind of washes and rinses them off. And it's pretty interesting to see the two differences because we'll kind of see that come into play in the next key difference. So as I was saying, the next key difference is the time before the second fry. So both of these fry recipes use the double fry method where basically you blanch them in oil and then drain them, do something with them, and then fry them again to achieve crispy goodness. So you'll see it's pretty different in what they do after that first oil blanch. So let's roll the clips. Now it's the blanch for two minutes to 3.30. Take them out, let them rest, crank up the heat, go from 3.20 to 3.85. Great. Now the temperature's risen. Fry. And transferred on an absorbent kitchen paper. To make these extra crisp, I'm gonna use some potato starch. If you do not have this, please use cornstarch. Rub this well. This batch of potato needs to be frozen for a minimum of 30 minutes before we start frying it the second time. All right, so pretty interesting. And you can see very, very different. So what Varen does is he actually adds cornstarch back to his french fries after they have been through the first oil blanch, and that is used to create some extra crispiness on the outside. He also freezes them for an additional 30 minutes, which almost to me simulates kind of what would happen at a fast food restaurant. You know, they generally have frozen fries and then they throw them in the fryer. And then for Gordon's recipe, his is really, really simplistic. All he does is fry them once and then drain them off and just fry them again. He doesn't do any of the waiting that Varen does, um, and it seems like the cooking process is a lot easier, but we'll see how they taste, if there's any difference um, in that actual taste test. So the third key difference in these two recipes is the seasonings they use. And I picked these two recipes because I feel like a lot of times in French fry recipes, you don't see kind of cool seasonings, but I thought it would be interesting for both of these guys since they do both use some toppings outside of just salt. So you'll see in the clips, let's roll them. They rub off the excess fat, let them sit there. I love placing them into a bowl. Fresh parsley on top, a touch of paprika, and then a touch of salt and pepper. And then from there, just roll them around. You can hear how crisp they are. Beautiful. This is the time to start seasoning it. Firstly, with some salt, some roasted coriander powder, a little bit of chili powder, and finally, some chaat masala. Topping this up with some freshly chopped parsley and crushed black pepper. All right, so we can see that Gordon uses salt, pepper, paprika, and some parsley. And then Varen used some salt, pepper, chaat masala, which is a kind of a spice mix that is used kind of on street foods and different salads in, in Indian dishes. And then he also adds parsley as well. So both of these should have really different flavor profiles, and I'm really looking forward to try them. So that is gonna wrap up the key differences in the two recipes. Now let's start the cooking time lapse and I'll meet you back here shortly.
So we have our french fries ready and prepared. I've got Gordon's here on the left. Remember those are the ones that were not frozen before the second fry and also did not wash off the potato starch. These are Varn Inamdars on the right. Again, these were frozen um, before the second fry. And then for the seasonings, we've got salt, pepper, parsley, and some paprika. And then we've got chaat masala, salt, pepper, parsley, and some coriander and a little bit of chili powder. So let's give these a taste test. Now what I'm looking for in these fries is kind of that crispy exterior, but the chewy and soft interior. Um, and overall, I just really, I'm really interested to see what the seasonings are, are gonna taste like. We're not gonna use ketchup or anything. We're just gonna purely focus on the fry. So hopefully you guys can kind of hear this and, and we'll see how we can get this crispiness factor. All right, so not super, super crispy, but it's got a nice crispy exterior and some of the little edges, which I like. Um, let's give Inundars a couple of tries. And I would say maybe a little bit, uh, honestly, they're pretty similar in crispiness. That one was a pretty good one for sure. Um, but the actual flavor profile is what I'm most interested in. So the chaat masala and these Indian spices on Inamdars really are really phenomenal. They give it this nice pop in your mouth that you don't really get with French fries. I mean, this is a great way. It almost reminds me of kind of, um, if you've had like Cajun fries from Bojangles or something like that, but not those type, but with a an Indian twist. That's kind of what these taste like, and I'm really, really digging them. All right, so overall, if I had to give it to someone, I'm gonna give it to Varn Inamdars. They're just a little bit crispier. Um, I think it's from that kind of the extra cornstarch on the outside may have played a factor into it. And also the spice blend on this is actually out of this world. You should definitely try it. The chaat masala, it's, um, it's a little like powder that is used. You can buy it at Indian grocery stores. It's got a really insane flavor. I tried some just on its own and that's where a lot of that flavor comes from in, this, in these fries. So definitely give these a shot. Gordon's are very nice in their own right, but ultimately I'm just gonna have to give it to Varn Inamdar on this one. So that will wrap it up for me guys. Hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, leave a like and subscribe. And also, let me know what you wanna see as a taste test next. I'm thinking steak and maybe fried chicken as the next couple of videos, but always open to suggestions. So take it easy and have a good one.